Quick video demonstrating how I changed the engine oil in my car. Nothing too complicated, so just sit back, relax, and also discuss some stuff in the end. First thing you do is you put your car up on some ramp things. Um, if you don't have that, you could jack it up or something, but I like to use these because for me, it's the most comfortable thing to do. Once you get on the ramps, make sure you depress the handbrake, parking brake, e-brake, whatever you call it. Just make sure it's depressed so that, you know, to minimize the chance of the car rolling away. Additionally, you can also, well, not can, but please do put a rock or, or chalk it up or something behind the back wheels so that it doesn't get away. Now, the engine temperature here is um, an operating temperature that's a little bit too hot to handle, so I'll wait for it to cool off about an hour or so. So while the engine oil is cooling down a little bit, you can get everything ready, make sure everything's nice and prepped so that you don't make a huge mess. And once you feel that the engine oil is um, in a temperature that it is nice to work with, you can go ahead and get ready. Now, the engine oil pan is usually located under the car near the engine over here, like so. You can feel the oil pan, make sure it's not too hot. Um, here's the oil filter, right? That's where the oil filter is. And then there where that socket is sticking out, you have the oil drain plug. Now, for this particular car, the drain plug is a, has a 13 millimeter head. See? See if I can get the camera to focus over there. Should be about 13 millimeters right there. Yep, it says it right there. It's good to work with oil that's been like warmed up, so if you could, you could take your car for a spin around the block, but you don't want to burn yourself either, so just keep that in mind. Now, you can have two options here, but I like to use the socket wrench, not the crescent wrench. Because the crescent wrench will has less gripping surface and will probably slip and strip the bolt head. You don't want that, all right? Make sure that the socket fits very snug because sometimes the drain plug can get stuck in there pretty bad. Now, make sure you have an oil drain pan ready, little plastic thing that collects the oil, and you could use a pry bar and just pry the drain plug out, okay? Ready, tidy, lefty, loosey. So, going left, you'll drain the plug. Anyways, using the pry bar, go ahead and give that a yank, loosen up that drain plug, right? And once it's loose, go ahead and unscrew it a little bit more, like so. And once you got that completely loose, you can go ahead and loosen that up with your fingers, like so. Now, once you get it loose enough, oil will start splashing everywhere, so it's important to position the pan in such a way that it will catch the oil, okay? Um, depending on how used the oil is and what car you have, the oil might trickle out or the oil might come out like at the end of a fire hose, right? So you got to keep that in mind. So you position that plastic pan accordingly, alright? But you unscrew the thing, right? You keep unscrewing and screwing and screwing, and then eventually eventually come on there you go eventually you start draining the oil so you see all that dirty oil coming out now you just sit back and relax a little bit until all of that just comes out and then less starts coming out of there even less starts coming out you know at this point you just let it dribble to your heart's content you could start working on the other things right away or you can just let it leave it for 30 minutes but now we pull out the oil filter right now a lot of people have tools for this you can get all sorts of tools but uh, I've seen people use little special grabbing tools little wrenches um, stabbing it with a screwdriver and a hammer and twisting it around but what I do is I just wail at it until I can get it loose and there it goes so you pull out the oil filter. Now, careful, you're gonna, this is the messiest part. The oil is hot, and of course the filter becomes quite slippery. Eventually you unscrew it loose, you pull it out, and you leave it aside. Some oil drain pans also have a little spot where you can put the filter on there and 
You just let it chill and spill and all that stuff. So that's the filter out right there. Once again, you just let it drip until you feel content that enough has dripped out. Remembering to keep the oil pan nice and aligned so you don't make a mess everywhere. And that's about all for now. So have a coffee. Have yourself a good cup of coffee. While you wait, have a cigarette. And once you're content, wipe down the area, clean it up real nice. Okay? Make sure everything's real nice and clean before you put all the new stuff back on. Notice that this car takes six quarts of engine oil. Alright? You can find that in the manual. And for this filter, you just lubricate it, screw it on, give it another good turn, and whatever you do, don't add oil. So, now you add the drain plug back, screw it back on, get it hand tight. Then, tighten it up with the socket wrench, like so. Remember the general rule of thumb, righty tighty, lefty loosey, right? Now, just give it like one yank with the pry bar. And that'll do it. You get the new filter, right? Fancy. Nice and clean. And then you add just a little bit of oil, not too much, but just enough so that you could put your fingers in there and spread it around the seal, right? Like so. Just get it on the seal. It's important to do this to the seal because it helps the filter actually screw on and adhere and make a nice like lock, if you will, which in turn will help keep the oil in the car. Then you screw on the new filter. All right, Pretty much hand tighten it and give it about a quarter to one more solid turn. And that should be good enough. right? Wipe everything down, keep everything clean, and you're almost done. right? All you have to do now is add oil. So first we add the 5 quart jug. Glug glug glug. Right? Add all that oil in there. Then add the one quart jug in there. For this particular car, this car takes six quarts. And for those of you who aren't too well off with maths, five plus one is six quarts. So we're quite good here. Now you check the dipstick, check the level of the engine oil, make sure it's quite all right. Um, over here, six quarts is enough to get you in the uh, midway mark. So I always add another half a quart. So basically six and a half quarts till the top mark. Alright, and you can tell how much you're measuring out by the side on these here castrol bottles that have a little measurement thing. And of course you clean off the area again, you put on the cap, make sure it's fairly tight, and presto, you're done. Alright, so now you turn on the car, let it idle for about five minutes, make sure nothing's leaking from the top, make sure nothing's leaking from the bottom, alright? This is very important. Make sure nothing's leaking from the bottom, and then take it out for a hot lap around the block, and come back and make sure nothing leaked out. All right. And with the old oil, you take the old oil, and you put it in these jugs, the empty jugs, and you take them to advanced out of parts. All right. And that's it. There's nothing really to it. Uh, warm up your engine, undo a drain plug, unscrew a filter, uh, clean the area up, put the drain plug back in, put a new filter on, add oil. Take the old oil, put it in the jugs, and then take it to a participating store for recycling. And that's that. Now, for the discussion part. So, why do I change my own oil? Okay, I change my own oil because I just don't trust the mechanics. I mean, I have a trusted mechanic out in Pennsylvania, but um, I, I bought this car used, and the previous owner went to like a, a Jiffy Lube of some sort or something. I don't exactly remember what it was, but um, I looked at the window sticker and they give it 5W20 oil instead of 10W30. And and it turns out they were cheating this guy left and right for everything. He came in there for brakes. Well, they screwed him up with the brakes, okay? they He had warped rotors and they were all um, chamfered on the edges and, and uh, the uh, calip uh, brake caliper guide pins were seized and everything. And, um, and also... As far as the oil goes, um, basically, the the oil 
drain plug has never been removed in its entire life. So what those mechanics were doing to that guy was they were unscrewing the filter, putting a new filter back on and just topping it off with some oil and charging him the full price for that entire job. And how did I know that? Because the first time I wanted to change the oil in this vehicle, the the, pit, the drain plug was so stuck, I ended up stripping the head off completely and I had to get it removed Oh, with this with the special bolt and everything and then once I got it removed I saw that it was all like gonky and, and all weird down there and everything but everything's okay now so I just do that myself also because to me it seems to be more cost effective I can get a pretty good filter and synthetic oil for about I don't know 40 bucks um, or maybe less I, I don't count actually but but I'll tell you um, advanced auto parts has has a thing going on where you buy five quarts of synthetic engine oil and a pure liter boss filter and you pay about um, $28 or $29 and then you just buy an extra quart for 10 bucks and it then it's pretty cool so 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 you know it's cost effective and then you trust yourself more than anybody else right and then it's also a simple process why should you pay someone else to do it for you plus it's fun it's enjoyable all right so that's that part and there are, of course, several methods, tools, or approaches you can choose from to do this. Um, but the, what I described in the video was what was most comfortable for me, I guess. So, you know, hopefully it's not that difficult. And, you know, being that I hope this channel can be educational, I, I hope that um, perhaps some people may find out of use. But then again, most people know how to change oil. So there's that. Um, you know. I like to let the car warm up a little bit before I change the oil. Um, I like to keep everything clean. And, you know, that's it. I use synthetic oil. Also, I've been saving up my oil filters lately, so I'll try to include an image here. So yeah, I've been saving up my oil filters, and I plan to cut them open for YouTube videos later. So I bought another Pure Later Boss filter because that previous one seemed to do pretty well. So I want to see if I can duplicate the results. Alright, at the moment that's all I have in my mind. Um, if anything else comes to mind, I'll write it in um, for the video description. Um, thank you for watching.